hey guys what's up and welcome back to my channel so you guys i know it's been a minute since i have done a sit down video it's literally been like a month <laughs> but today's video we are finally back and we're going to be doing a product review on the new one size beauty butter silk concealer and honestly that name alone had me so like butter silk concealer Ooh, yeah, I need that. You guys know I did review the Patrick Star foundation some months ago, and I did like the foundation as far as the formula and everything. I just didn't care for the colors. That was it. But this time around, um, we're doing concealer. So, you know, I got my fingers crossed. My mind is open. My heart is open to see what this concealer is going to do for me. So this is the packaging. I did end up getting the color medium 3G which basically means medium golden undertone. Said I also picked up the powder. This is the One Size Beauty Ultimate Setting Powder. Okay, so basically this concealer is going to be full coverage, long wearing, vegan, cruelty free, waterproof, and best for oily combo and normal skin types. And it does have a matte finish. So all right, this is how the concealer looks, super standard packaging, red top, clear bottle. And then this is the packaging for their trans his translucent powder. Um, I did get the color translucent. Um, he only has two shades, which is translucent, and I think it's called like deep dark. So let me open this so you guys can get a really good view. This is the Dole Foot applicator. If you guys are interested in knowing which powder and foundation I do have on, I'll have that listed in my bio below. I'm just gonna go ahead and start dotting it on. So this concealer does have caffeine in it and that is super important if you want a product that helps with depuffing the eyes. Like me personally, I've never had a concealer that helps with depuffing. Even though I don't have puffiness, I do get it from time to time when I'm not getting enough sleep. And this product also has avocado and mango butters. So for people that need a concealer that has some high type of hydration into it, this one does have that. It's really gonna help with smoothing out texture and you know the hydration simultaneously Simultaneously, this concealer also has peptides in it. So if you're into concealers that help with collagen boosting and things like that, this is gonna be it. I really love the fact that it's literally like a triple threat product. Very lightweight, it does actually have a silky texture. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for a moment while we let it dry down because I feel like when I let my concealer dry down a little bit, the coverage is smoother across the board, if that makes sense. So while my concealer is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and do a cream contour, and I'm just going to start applying that. This is usually how I do my makeup at this point. I put my concealer on, I let that sit and just dry down a little bit. And while that's drying down, I apply my cream contour. So I did end up switching brushes. I have two of these, two of these brushes. And I'm gonna start to blend out my concealer. It didn't even take long to dry down. Sometimes my concealers take a little bit longer. So I'm just gonna start blending this out. I may have let it sit for a little bit too long. I feel like I didn't even barely let it sit for two minutes. So maybe with this concealer, particularly since it dries down pretty quickly, let it sit on your skin for about a minute and then start going ahead and blend it out. And as you guys can see, I did not like do the whole triangle and drop it down and look how much it's covering. And what I do, I get to my contour, I actually take that brush and I blend them in together, just like that. That helps you get rid of that seam that can be created when you're blending. Yeah, I like how this looks. Okay, let's go on the forehead, start to work that in. Under eyes do not look dry. Um, I do feel like I just wanna put on a little bit more, a little, little bit more, not too much. Like I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna do it like that. I'm really loving it. I'm loving the color. I'm loving how it feels on my skin. It's not as mattifying as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a lot more flat, 
but my skin actually still has a little bit of dewiness for now until we set it so before you set your concealer you always know you go back in and smooth out any lines that you may see because you definitely don't want to set it when you have lines because it's just going to set those lines as well so i'm just going to go so i'm going to press it right in i'm not going to like bake or anything like that i'm just pressing the powder right into the concealer okay so as you can see it definitely mattified the concealer and it isn't as much dewiness and shine as it was when we first put it on but that's okay because you know setting sprays and things like that will help you get back the glow to your skin all right so this is how the concealer is looking and i actually love it not just like it i love it like I have nothing bad to say like it looks great so i'm just gonna go ahead finish the rest of my face and i'm gonna come back and give you guys my final thoughts on this new concealer by one size beauty all right guys so we are back and this is the final look which i have to say i am obsessed like i love how this concealer has literally settled into my skin. Um, I did do a little bit of setting spray, you know, blusher, bronzer, all that good stuff. And this is what we came up with. I'm more impressed with the concealer than I was with the um, foundation. Like it had like this true golden undertone. Uh, the formula is spectacular. It's very much a silky texture. And I also love that it has so many benefits to it. Um, the depuffing, the hydrating, the smoothing of the texture, the collagen um, boosting with the peptides they infused into it. Like, I think that's what makes this concealer so great to me. What I love the most is that it sets pretty quickly. So usually when I apply my concealers, I got to wait like, you know, like two, three minutes for it to really start to dry down a bit so I can blend it out. With this one, it sets pretty fast. So more like a 30 seconds to a minute and you can start working, you know, working it out and blending it. You guys, let me know your thoughts below in the comments if you'll be picking up this concealer or if it was something that was on your list and you weren't too sure about. I would love to know you guys' thoughts as well. And uh, yeah, glad. thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.